Hey, this is Jeff. Uh, today I was looking at an interaction built by Kelvin Lowe in the uh, weekly challenges. This was a challenge about creating animations in e-learning. And he said, well, I couldn't come up with an idea for animation, so I decided to use on the slider. And he created this really cool koala or origami uh, interaction. So when I move the slider, it shows a new layer or, a, or something like that with a, a new picture in it explaining how to fold the koala origami. So it's really cool and basically what the slider does, it shows a new layer with the new picture on it. Um, and what I feel that often the most subtle type of uh, animation really uh, benefits uh, interactions such as these. Um, so while uh, Calvin couldn't think of how to animate this, actually just by applying a fade transition to every slide you'd get a really cool uh, crossover effect where you might get the feel that this thing is actually being folded so let's take a look at what that looks like so I've switched over to storyline uh, I'm kinda lazy so I basically just took all the steps and put them on different slides but I'm guessing that in Calvin's project these are all separate layers that are being triggered by the slider uh, and just like on a slide, you can put an animation on a layer or on an object of, on the layer. So I could have a transition animation on my slide or layer that just goes fade. So I selected all these slides, put a fade on these, and when I publish, you'll get this really nice subtle animated effect that really brings something extra to the interaction. Here we go. And as you can see, there's a very subtle fade, which really gives me that feel that it's being folded right in front of me. So animations don't have to be full out in your face. They can be really subtle and add that little extra. So consider that when you're creating your next uh, interaction, adding a fade or a subtle fly in or out really gives that little bit of extra. Okay, that's it. See you out there.